What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael and I am bringing you a draft analysis for the newly developed draft league, the RCF, better known as the Randomized Chaos Federation. Now, the Randomized Chaos Federation is being put on by Wes and my boy Slightly Salty. Now they have devised the most sickening, insane draft league I've ever seen in my life. So this is going to be intense, this is going to be scary, and it's going to be fun. Now, our entire draft team, we did not pick ourselves. It was randomly selected. RNG had everything to do with it. As you can see, my G-Max on the screen right here is a Garboder, and that is the only G-Max that we have access to right now. But, who knows? Next week, it could be a completely different G-Max. We just don't know. That is what the RCF brings to the table. Um, once again, I am the coach of the Miami Mimikyus, representing Flowrider down here. Um, obviously go check out the links down in the description down below because it will have access to every other coach that is participating in the RCF. So with that guys, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see on the screen, we have my G-Max Garboder Poison type Thick Boy. Super thick, super thick. Um, we got some we got some good moves with uh with old G-Max Garboder over here. You know, we got access to what? Gunk shot, pain split, haze. We got a whole stomping tantrum. We can we can do we can do a lot. We can do a lot with this G Max. It's gonna stop fairies in their tracks, and that is what we really need because my Uber is none other than Kiram White, the mighty Kiram White. So as you guys can see, we're rocking out with the typing of Dragon and Ice. So we don't really like fairies. But thank goodness, our G-Max is a poison type. So we can do something with that. And because it is Kiram White, you know, we have access to Ice Burn, Fusion Flare, uh, Draco Meteors if we want, Flash Cannons. We got it all. We got it all. But uh, Kiram White is going to bring some amazing things to the table. Hopefully we don't lose Kiram because I would be very sad. But we have him right now at the moment. So it'll be mighty fun to use him as our Uber. Up next, we're going to the OU tier. My first OU is none other than the mighty Haxorus. So Haxorus, as you can see, is a powerhouse. It is a mighty, hard-hitting powerhouse. Speed stat, not the best, not the best speed. Not the best speed overall, but I will tell you, this thing hits like a tank and a half. Uh, you know, we got some good abilities, rivalry, mold breaker, etc. We can, we, can, we can work with that. We can work with that. Our next OU is a Primarina with that liquid voice ability. You know, we're making hyper voice hit hard AF. We have the moon blast capabilities. We can do all kinds of shenanigans. We can do all kinds of shenanigans with Primarina. She's got access to a lot of things and having that fairy type is huge for us. Super huge because we definitely needed it. Absolutely needed it. Um, up next for our other OU, we have none other than the Swords Master himself. Surfetched, look at that rock and roll with that sword and shield in hand, not afraid of anybody, not afraid of anybody, and we love him for that. So I'm sorry, Surfetch is our UU pick now, our UU pick. So yes, Surfetch is our the start of our UUs. So and we do get four UU mons. So up next after Surfetch is none other than Rotom Heat, the oven floater himself. We do a lot with Rotom, not gonna lie. I mean, we do Trick Room shenanigans, we do all kinds of stuff with Rotom. Uh, Rotom Heat, uh, tanks hits like a beast. So we can, we, there's so much, so much diversity that you can put into a Rotom, so much. So Rotom Heat, obviously with the electric and the fire, but also has access to quite a few ghost moves. So we can do something, we can do something. Up next with our next UU pick, we have Incineroar. I'm not even going to tell you, you already know. Fake outs, knockoffs, U turns, flare blitzes, fire fangs, you name it. We can have some fighting moves, Darkest Lariat. We got all kinds of stuff. All kinds. Incineroar's huge, actually. Intimidate Incineroar is amazing. So, we're going to have a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun with Incineroar. A whole lot of fun. Um, up next on our final UU pick. We have none other than Flygon, so we have a quite a few dragons 
on the squad, as you guys can see. Um, Flygon being a levitator with ground and dragon, four times super effective against uh, ice moves, so that's gonna suck. But you know what? We can hit ground poison types. We can hit poison types pretty hard. We can hit other dragons. Very good. Um, I don't know many dragons that have made it in. Um, we got access to a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff on this Flygon being a physical tank over here. So yeah, Flygon is going to put in some work and we're going to make the best use of Flygon that we can. Up next for our RU picks, we have none other than Cantonian Weezing. And let me just tell you, let me just tell you. I love me some Cantonian Weezing. We got all kinds of moves. All kinds of moves to use on Weezing. No doubt. Weezing has that. I can just straight up explode in your face if I want to. I can just explode in someone's face. That would be absolutely terrible for Weezing, but it would absolutely suck for the opponent. So yeah, Weezing, Weezing's got some moves. Uh, flamethrower, Sludge Bomb. We can do all kinds of shenanigans with my man Weezing over here. So yeah, Weezing could do the work. Could do the work. Up next, the second to last pick, we have Golurk, which I love being the uh, ghost type gym leader that I am. Uh, Golurk has access to quite a few different moves and some awesome shenanigans. Uh, Golurk's physical attack is pretty good. Um, you know what? We have the we have some we can do we can do the um, Iron Fist ability or we could do the no guard ability which is huge too so i mean we have some options with my man Golurk over here he can't dynamax which you know is what it is but he's got access to a lot of good stuff uh drain punch earthquake a lot of ghost moves uh a lot of dark type moves so we can do some stuff we can do some stuff and now probably the most interesting team member on the team we do have ndd female you know, in DD, we can do a lot of stuff. We can do some ally switch shenanigans. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter if we do ally switch. I forget because this is not a doubles. We are doing singles, and on the event we do do doubles, we can do some stuff. Now, doubles are power-ups, and I didn't mention power-ups earlier. I was going to make it a surprise, but yeah. Each week, we get a randomized power-up, and these power-ups can be a re-roll a mon that you have on your team that you don't want, or you can make an opponent re-roll a mon on their team that you don't think they should have. You can force trade between two people. You can make two people have a double battle, which would be awesome. So yeah, but Ndidi, we have some things that she can do. Um, Ndidi has access to Calm Mind, Dazzling Gleams, Mystical Fire. Ndidi's got the move set. We just have to make it work in our favor. So yeah, that is the squad for the start of week one for the RCF. Next week, I could have a completely different team. I could have a completely different team. And, you know, so that is what we have. This is our starting bout, though. This will be our week one pick, um, our week one team here, up against, um, of course, the Goki Gamer is our week one opponent. So that'll be super exciting. So stay tuned for all that stuff, which should be coming later on this week. So, yeah, we have a pick. If you are excited about the Miami Mimikyu's, be sure to check out the shop down below because we have some Miami Mimikyu coffee mugs which are pretty exciting so yeah if you guys did enjoy this please smash that like button support is always always greatly appreciated but with that everybody I've been the Phantom Michael the coach of the Miami Mimikyu's and I will see you guys on the battlefield